big and 52, 54 all morning long. And this 54 got to be a very good one. I see the marking on it. And so, uh, that's a good fun. on the road this morning it's the day after labor day i've got a couple of favorite spots i like to hit the day after labor day it's really the only time we can get on to them and you have to have a permit to do that and so without giving too much away i definitely am up north of where i normally hunt but anyway uh got a couple of lakes i'm gonna hit today hopefully we're gonna find some good things probably run into an old friend at one of the swim holes i meet up here every year and uh but uh Hopefully we're gonna find something and uh, I can get the camera on and show it to you. Hopefully we're gonna find some gold here today. I've uh, been kind of without gold in the last video or so and I've kind of gotten spoiled with that gold. But anyway, I got a little bit further to go and like I always say, I'll see you guys out in the water. find I just got out in the water had been here maybe two minutes got a 45 and brought up my first find which was a cross so it's an episode all right man I like that first find is a cross so maybe there's some more stuff out here a little windy a little cool today too so let's keep swinging let's see what else we can get Well, got my second target. Well, got an earring, and then I got this ring right here. It's a stainless steel. It's ringing up as a solid 46. It says, love you forever on the inside of it. And Lav, Lavumo, I guess that's the name. Love you forever, Lavumo. Never heard of that name. But anyway, I've dug many of these types of stainless steel rings. So going out a little bit deeper, that's where I'm finding this. So we're going to hunt a little bit longer and see what else we can get. So let's keep swinging. I was getting a 4647. Just going to be a stainless steel spinner ring, rainbow color. Nothing fancy, but I'll take it. All right, let's keep on going. Let's see what else we can get. Well, I was getting an 8283 and popped up this necklace that says 100 on it. I wonder what that stands for, 100. It looks like it's copper. It's heavy, I wish it was gold. All right, let's keep looking. All right, it's getting a 42. 
not nearby where I found that uh, pendant for that necklace. This may be the chain that it came on. It's all bent up. It's not going to be gold or anything. But, uh, hey, it's something. All right, let's put that in the pouch and mark it down as a find. Let's keep on rolling. That's getting a very flat sounding 70. And uh, it's going to be a tungsten ring. A very beautiful ring. I don't see no markings on it, but it feels like a tungsten. Looks like a tungsten. So uh, I'll take that. Fits my finger. All right, let's see if there's any gold or any other type of uh, jewelry in here. Let's keep swinging. that out just a little over waist deep been digging 52 54s all morning long and this 54 happened to be a gold ring I can see the marking on it that's a good find so let's uh, I was just fixing quit but now I'm gonna swing around here just a little bit longer hunt the beach before I head out to another lake and so let's uh, see if we can't find us another gold little sister for this one lakes today and all I've gotten is 35 cents an earring a little bitty kids necklace and some junk pull tabs so uh, that's why I'm gonna let this be my last video I'm not ready to call it quits yet I still got a couple more areas I'm gonna hit I'm gonna get out of East Texas I've got to go for work down to central south central Texas so I'm gonna pick out a, a lake or two down there and see what I can come up with and uh, maybe find a few more things on this video. But like I said, as soon as school starts here, and at least in my area, people just don't go to the lakes anymore. The weekends is very thin and you gotta contend with the other water hunters. And so I spent, oh, two and a half hours and that's all I've found. It's just not much out here at all. And so I need to go find a lake that uh, no one's detecting and hit that swim hole and hit a honey hole had a friend of mine that was in my last video uh, he went up and hit a lake uh, last week is one of these lakes that you only can get on the day after Labor Day and he found 14 rings and went back the next day and found three more and so that's the type of good honey holes that I like to hit I get one every once in a while but anyway before we call it quits we're gonna hit a couple more and see what we can come up with so until then I'll see you guys out in the water I've been to one, two, four lakes and five swim areas and I have found nothing except this right here. It's a Jesus ring. That's the first time I've ever found a ring that says Jesus on it. It's got it crosses and Jesus stainless steel ringing up at 47, 48, about knee deep water. And so I'm gonna stay up, I've been out in the deep and I haven't found, found anything. So I'm gonna stay in the shallow maybe. Well, this lake's about uh, four feet down. So this is probably where most of the stuff might be. <sighs> I thought I was cursed. All right, I got that. Let's keep looking, see if we can find anything else. Well, made it back in from the lakes. And it's been a hard week. I tell you, like you saw in the video, I've done a lot of detecting. I've gone to many, many lakes and just there's nothing out there right now. Nothing's being replenished. I hit, I think a total of, maybe in this video, I think there may be about six different lakes and about eight different swim areas and I still didn't get a whole lot and uh, so I just thought I would end my video on that last scoop and found that uh, stainless steel Jesus ring I couldn't think of a better way to go out for the year in water season than to find a, a ring with Jesus on it and a cross so I just thought I'd end it right there but I had a good season though I ended up I think with uh, I don't know I, had, I haven't counted up my rings yet maybe 69 70 rings and that's kind of average, kind of low, but kind of average. 
I usually get more than that, but because of uh, Bidenomics, uh, the gas price is so high, I had to switch my videos from going weekly to bi-weekly just because I couldn't afford to go out all the time and burn all that gas. And uh, so money's a little tight, you know, <clears throat> with a transition and job and uh, everything else. And so I just couldn't get out there like I normally have been in the past. But I'm happy with 70 rings, 74, whatever it was. I, I'll put it on the, on the end of the video, this wrap-up, how many rings I found for the year. And uh, But had a really good time, though, this season. Met some good people out in the water. And uh, I look forward to seeing the season come, and I look forward to seeing the season go. And I'm ready for some cooler weather and switch over to the Manticore and get back out and doing some land hunting. And so I'll be taking some time off now from this video to the next video, uh, just getting geared up, letting the weather cool, and getting some permissions lined up to get out and do some more land hunting and see what we can come up with there. But uh uh, I got everything laid out on my tailgate, and so let me spin you around. Let me show you what I found on this last water hunting video for 2023. All right, here we go. There's all my aluminum foil, all knickknack stuff, all steel metal type of stuff. The vape pins, I guess that's what these are. Uh, aluminum caps, bottle caps, pull tabs, be beaver tails, and square ones. <clears throat> couple of fish hooks and a fish weight. I did get some type of uh, bell and this is actually some type of uh, I'm gonna try to dry that out see if I can find anything off of this it's a memory stick. I got a dog tag I got a CC's pizza token. I end up getting four quarter uh, nickels and I got one two three four five dollars and quarters 5, 10, 13 dimes, and we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 pennies. We got uh, some stud earrings. I uh, don't know what the little snow penguin, a turtle, and some other ones. Got a couple of little small hoop earrings, some large hoop earrings, some type of uh, maybe part of a charm bracelet. Um, what else did we get here? I got uh, this gold plated chain and uh, no markings on it. It's just going to be fake gold. And then I got some type of dinosaur necklace, some type of hands necklace, I guess. It's kind of on both sides. Really don't know what that is. Got me some ice bling. Check that out. 100, whatever 100 means. And got my cross for my last video, crucifix there. That's been in the water a while, you can tell by the rust. And then here are my rings. I ended up with five rings. I got a stainless steel rainbow ring. Then I got another stainless steel ring. Uh, then I got a tungsten ring. And then I got that Jesus ring. And I got one more here, the gold ring that you saw. Uh, I've already cashed it in. I turned my gold in to Plugmaster Ford, so it's already gone. <laughs> And so uh, it's not in the video, but it'd be in the pictures. But anyway, I got five rings on this last video and uh, had a great time with it. So there's my trash. And here is all the treasures on this last video for water detecting of 2023. And like I say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out and water detect and put on your tailgate and shoot a wrap up. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.